Hello, this is HGM and today we're looking at my new solar station. This is the JBC CP2D. It's the hot tweezer model. It's very good for like removing components and reworking and that kind of thing. But it's uh, not as versatile as a standard soldering iron. The station is only set up to use the tweezers, so unfortunately I can't actually switch the handpiece out to a different one. It's got a different connector to the actual normal hand pieces and it's also a different wattage so I can't actually use it for the standard irons so what I'm planning to do is make a little junction box which attaches on the back of the iron and accommodates two more soldering irons these are just 3D printed irons that I've printed they're the same size as the small version JBC soldering handpiece and of course I've got the cartridge in the front and I've got two of them on this stand because these cartridges are the same as the one in the tweezers the same size and the same wattage so if I use two of them I can have them like paired up so they're identical set up to the actual tweezers themselves so what I'm planning to do is make a system which switches between either these pair of irons or them tweezers so to do this I'm going to use the tweezer plug put it into a little box which is going to sit on the back of this station wire these two irons into the same box and then wire it back into the original station plug so it will switch between either this one or them two I'm going to use the, um, the JBC grounding system where the cartridge grounds and then the station knows whether it's in the stand or off the stand. I'm going to use that type of system on mine. I've also got to replace the front piece of the 3D printing with some kind of conductive pipe. Just so this works. But I'm going to make, make it so as soon as I lift the um, soldering iron out the stand, it will activate one of these. But on default, it was set as the standard tweezers. So when I need to use tweezers, I can pull them off. When I need to use this, I can pull it off, and then it will automatically switch on and provide power to whichever one I want. So that's the plan. And now I'm going to work out the layout of the box. I've got this uh, piece of card which represents the shape and size of the box. It may be a little bit longer or a little bit wider, but I've got all these um, JBC connectors or JBC star connectors. A couple of which I had to modify to actually fit inside the JBC station due to the amount of uh, conductors on there. So I had to pull one of the pins out of one of the connectors. But uh, other than that, they all fit. So these are the, like the standard ones that I used on the actual handpieces. So these will be on the end of each handpiece. And they plug into this little panel mount connector. So these are the two that are going to be on the box. And then I've got this style of connector, which will actually allow the tweezers to plug into it, so that's going to be on there as well. Then there's going to be one more connector coming out of the box. This is going to be the one which connects back into the station. So I'm thinking of arranging this, so I have one connector on the side, and probably two on the back. So this will fit on the back of my station. This will go on the back like this. And then I'll probably have this plug somewhere where the uh, original tweezers can plug into it. So the, then these plugs will go about here and allow the wire to come down and plug into each port. So now I'm going to look at designing a box in Autodesk 1, 2, 3D design and uh, we'll get printing one off. This is my JVC junction box that I've designed in Autodesk 1, 2, 3D design. It's a uh, simple little box. I've got the uh, two cutouts here for the connectors so that the uh, extra irons can be added. I've also made a uh, cutout here where the tweezers are added. It's also got a notch at the top to uh, stop the uh, connector from rotating. And uh, there's some standoffs for well some screws. And if I show all the solids, 
There's also a top for it. To keep it tidy. And that will just uh, screw in with some free screws. So um, I'm now going to 3D print this. So uh, let's get it printed. So this is how it turned out. I still need to um, put the electronics on the inside, but for the externals, we've got the uh, two connectors for the additional lines. That's these two. Which I'll just plug into there. And I've also got an additional port where the original tweezers are going to plug in. So I've got my tweezers. This port here still needs the inside, but I need to solder that before I press it in. And that'll just uh, connect onto there like that. I've also got a lid to keep it all tidy when it's all done. So this box is actually going to fit on the back of the stand. So it's going to actually go on like that. So that the wires from the back can come down and can run through these connectors and clip onto there and then the stand will sit this way so the tweezers can go in and they can plug into the side still need to knit that connector up but that's how it's going to go so in the next episode I'm going to look at doing the electronics on the inside making the switcher that will switch between either the tweezers or these two pair of irons of course this takes two cartridges and so does the tweezers so it exactly mimics what the tweezers do so let's just turn it around that's what the setup should look like when it's done and then I've got my little top thanks for watching